Hello, welcome to Correlate English Micro Lessons. Today, we will be covering the high frequency phrasal verb come back. I'm your instructor, George Corley. 大家好，欢迎来到科里英语微课程。今天我们来学习一下高频短语动词 come back 的用法。我是你们的主讲老师丽丽老师。Come back 和我们上节课学习的 go back 在语义和用法上有什么相同和不同之处呢？咱们先来复习一下 go back 的常用含义吧。好嘞 ，go back 的常用含义应该就这些了。你如果想要进一步了解该动词的日常用法，请移步至我们的上节微课视频。在上个视频中，我们详细的讲解了它在日常生活中的几种地道用法。其间，我们介绍了它的几个很常用的固定搭配，并通过多个实例为大家演示了它在不同场景下的正确用法。当然了，没看上个视频也没关系。您现在只需要先大概了解一下 go back 的几个常用含义，然后跟着我们学完本节课的内容。等我们讲完 come back 后，两个动词短语的含义及用法区别应该就会一目了然了。好嘞，闲话不多说，咱们赶紧开始今天的课程吧。Just like go back, the primary meaning for come back is return to a place. Unlike go back, though, come back usually means that the place in question is where the speaker is, or is at least closer to the speaker. In this way, it mirrors the meaning of come, referring to motion toward the speaker. Come back and go back. 最基本的含义都是返回某地。如果您讲中文的话，应该很容易将它们区分开。因为我们可以从他们的翻译中直接看出不同。Come back 可以翻译成回来，通常说话者当前身在目标地点，至少比听话者距目标地点更近一些。而 go back 用中文讲也就是回去，说明说话的一方当前不在所谈论的目标地点。I'm waiting for Lisa to come back home. I'm waiting for Lisa to come back home. Sarah didn't come back until very late that night. Sarah didn't come back until very late. That night, can you come back to my place as soon as possible? I need your help. Can you come back to my place as soon as possible? I need your help. Finally, you are home. Did you pick up some eggs from the store? Oh no, that's the thing I forgot. I'll go back to the store and get them. Great. Why are you coming back? It shouldn't take long. About fifteen minutes. Sounds good. 
Don't come back without eggs again. 这个对话中两个短语动词都出现了。将两个动词放在一起用，它们的区别可以说是一目了然。咱们再来重现一下这个情景。当妻子问丈夫是否买了鸡蛋时，丈夫回答道 ：“Oh no, that's the thing I forgot. I'll go back to the store and get them.” 哎呀，让我给忘了，我再回到商店给买回来。这里丈夫用了 go back to the store， 说明他现在已经不在商店了，需要重新折返回去把鸡蛋给买回来。妻子紧接着问 ，Why are you coming back？ 那你什么时候回来呀？很显然 ，coming back 后面省略了 home 这个地点。妻子是想问丈夫什么时候到家。而妻子正是在家中问这个问题，也就是说，话者当前身在目标地点，所以他选择了用 come back 而不是 go back。同样，妻子最后的一句叮嘱 “Don't come back without eggs again” 也是同样的道理。Come back can mean return to one's mind. Its usual subject is one's memory of something, although one's memory of, in many cases, is omitted and left as understood. We can see it as related to the literal meaning of return to a place by thinking of one's mind as a place. It is usually used in situations where we've forgotten something or we're having difficulty recalling it before, but now have a memory of it. This expression is often used to describe. The memory of something comes back to someone. 翻译成中文也就是对某物或某事的记忆重现于某人的脑海中。某人回想起了某物或某事。For example, it's coming back to me now. I think it was Susan who gave me the bracelet. It's coming back to me now. I think it was Susan who gave me the bracelet. I can't recall his name for now, but maybe if I see his photo, it will come back to me. I can't recall his name for now, but maybe if I see his photo, it will come back to me. Oh, it's just coming back to me. You said you needed broccoli. Oh, it's just coming back to me. You said you needed broccoli. Come back can also mean return to a previous state. 大家应该记得，咱们上节课学习的 go back 也可以用来指恢复至之前的状态。那么两者的用法有什么区别呢？ Compared with go back, the situations where come back is used are more specific. For example, it is often used in the phrase "come back to life," meaning to become alive again after being dead, literally or figuratively. It can also be used in some other typical circumstances, such as "come back into fashion." Go back and come back 在表示恢复至之前的状态时，最大的区别在于语境。Go back 的语境相对更为宽泛，没有太多的限制。而 come back 的语境更为具体一些，仅出现于少数的比较典型的语境和搭配中，比如柯老师上面提到的 come back to life 复活、死而复生、come back into fashion 再度流行。Therefore, come back can be more specifically defined as return to a previous state of functionality, popularity, vigor, success, etc. 翻译成中文，也就是恢复至之前的功能、机能、名望、盛行程度
、活力、精力、成功等。这一含义下，从该短语动词派生而来的名词形式 “come back” 也特别常用，可以释义为往日光荣机能、名望、流行程度、活力、精力、成功等的恢复。感情色彩方面 ，“go back” 后面所跟的状态也没有太多的限制。可以是褒义的、贬义的，或者是中性的。而 come back 后面所跟的状态和描述，通常会折射出说话者积极正面的心理状态。大家可以结合着柯老师下面给出的例子体会一下。The patient's heart had stopped for nearly a minute before he came back to life. The patient's heart had stopped for nearly a minute before he came back to life. When will bell bottoms come back in style? Or when will bell bottoms make a comeback? When will bell bottoms come back in style? When will bell bottoms make a comeback? After the fire, the forest came back just as vibrant and vigorous as before. After the fire, the forest came back just as vibrant and vigorous as before. The actor made a dramatic comeback with his latest stage play, which is his only work in the past decade. The actor made a dramatic comeback with his latest stage play, which is his only work in the past decade. Comeback can also mean reply, especially if that reply is somehow witty, snarky, or confrontational. For example, Eric can always come back with some witty remark whenever someone teases him. Eric can always come back with some witty remark whenever someone teases him. Bob came back with an insult to Joe's mother. Bob came back with an insult to Joe's mother. After listening to Jeff's rant, Sarah came back with just one comment that stopped him in his tracks. After listening to Jeff's rant. Sarah came back with just one comment that stopped him in his tracks. Of course, in this context, we will often find the use of verbs that come from a verb form, "come back," which means to stop, stop, or to turn back. Come back. Let's look at two examples. Lisa always has the best comebacks in debates. Lisa 在辩论时总有最出色的反驳陈词。Lisa always has the best comebacks in debates. 马克 tried to come up with a presentable comeback, but his mind was blank. 马克曾设法给出像样的反击，但他的大脑却一片空白。Mark tried to come up with a presentable comeback, 
but his mind was blank. Finally, come back can refer to going from a losing position to a winning one. This is very common in business and sports settings. For example, the Green Bay Packers came back from 30 points behind to win the game. The Green Bay Packers came back from 30 points behind to win the game. After going through bankruptcy reorganization, the company miraculously survived and came back even stronger in two years. After going through bankruptcy reorganization, the company miraculously survived and came back even stronger in two years. He fell to fifth place, but unexpectedly came back to win the race in the end. He fell to fifth place, but unexpectedly came back to win the race in the end. This expression means comeback. 和与体育竞技相关的语境中，中文可视译为“东山再起，反败为胜”。例如， the CEO laid out plan for comeback. 总裁制定了一个东山再起的计划。The CEO laid out a plan for a comeback. None of us expected such a dramatic comeback in the final. 没有人预料到决赛中会出现如此戏剧般的反转。None of us expected such a dramatic comeback in the final. All right, these are the meanings you're most likely to encounter for comeback. With our explanations, you should have a better idea of how to use the phrasal verb and the noun derived from it. 同时,我们应该也弄明白了 go back和 come back 在语义上的关联和用法上的区别。下节微课我们会继续学习高频短语动词 Make up的用法 咱们下节课见吧 Thank you for watching and see you next lesson Bye Support us on Patreon for access to exclusive learning materials You can follow along with a PDF of our lesson PowerPoint Download high-quality audio files to listen to our lessons on the go. Or get access to bilingual transcripts of each lesson. Just go to patreon.com slash English, select your monthly pledge amount, and instantly gain access. Your contribution will help us to keep creating more quality English learning content for you to enjoy. Thank you!